Hi friends, I'm Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, actually, in last tutorial, we have learned about a length function. Today, we are going to learn about INSTR function. Uh, this is also very easy. Actually, the difference between INSTR and SubSTR is that SubSTR gives us strings. Uh, you know the exact the string what we are searching for, and uh, INSTR gives the position of the string what we are searching for. All right, let's uh, jump to SQL workshop for better understanding. We will see the examples here, and you know you'll get to know very easily. So let's let's uh, you know select any string from dual. I'm just doing select inverted comma software developer. from dual all right developer spelling is not correct yeah give us give alias name to this column let's run this yeah so we have we have this uh, value software developer we are going to use instr function on this all right right call one that will be good so we want uh, to use INSTR function over this software developer string, how we can do that? Write INSTR, the string on which you are gonna apply INSTR, then the string for which you are uh, the you know the character or string for which you are searching for. So I'll write here A. All right, or better write E. I'll let you know why I'm choosing E. E and you know one. One means this. See, uh, I'll I'll just explain you the syntax. This is the string what we have given as input. This is the character or you know you can write multiple things here. Uh, I mean uh, the bigger string as well like this something like this. So just I'm just explaining with E. So here this is the you know character what we are searching. We are searching this string into given string or input and this one means we are gonna start counting from one from here all right so the program will start counting from here and it will when it will get first e it will give us the output let's run and uh, get the query output eight it means at eighth position first e is getting founded i'll show you i'll just count you from here one two three four five six seven eight as you can see the first e is at the eighth position all right so this is how instr works we can get to know at which position that you know uh, this this given string is available all right so and the one another uh, parameter or you can say attribute is there which is optional you can write here one or two or three this is uh, a num this is this should be a number and it means that if i'm writing one it means that first e when it will start counting from here when it will find first e and there it will return the value of first e when i'll, I'll be writing here two so it will it will be searching for the second occurrence of the you know e so it will ignore first e and it will you know started searching for second e when it will get se second e then it will give us the output i'll, I'll just run this query and it's and let's uh, let's see what the output is 11 so it has just ignored first e and you know it has uh, uh, it has go to second e I'll, I'll just count it from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 as you can see at 11th position second e uh, that you know program found so when i write third three it means that it will it will ignore first and second occurrence of the e and it will go to third third occurrence of the e i'll just search i'll just run it so as you can see 13 at 13th position he found uh, i mean the program found third e all right so this is how instr works hope this is understandable for you and you know this is applicable applicable on uh, uh, what I say uh, tables column as well I'll, I'll show you here let's do select are from employees from employees we have this all time favorite call uh, table so suppose I want to apply INSTR on this 
uh, you know first first name of first name column all right so how we can do that just see here instr i'll write first name okay from employees table okay let's write first name here as well so that it would be you know visible for you as well so uh, yeah so i'm uh, applying instr then what i wanna search i wanna search for e okay e e in every uh, column name every you know uh, this value and i wanna start searching from first word the first character so let's run this query yeah as you can see here we have written e e is again uh, you just have to you know uh, be aware that we are writing small e here this is case sensitive thing so when we are writing a uh, small e it means it will search for small e not for capital e all right so we have written e so it, it in allen it is searching for you know small e so it got here on fourth position for this thing he has not uh, the you know uh, program has not got anything so for all it is some coming something like this all right hope you got the concept of instr for strings and column uh, tables column both uh, for any doubt or confusion just mail me or comment me in the comment box and uh, comment in the comment box and uh, yeah that's it for today hope you got uh, instr concept uh, in better way all right so thanks for today uh, thank you very much